as we get older, we lose this NAD. Yeah. So it's estimated that by the time you're my age, 50, and you're getting close, yeah, right, right you have about half the levels you did of NAD when you, when you were young, when okay. you were 20. Okay. So of course your defenses against aging are gonna be about half the levels that they were. Mm -hmm. So there are some ways to, to keep your NAD levels relatively high. Okay. One is to exercise, lose your breath, work out. So not walking cardio, lose your breath cardio. Yeah, that's okay. the best way, okay. at least based on the animal studies we've done and some okay. human studies. Okay. And then the second is you want to be hungry at okay. least part of the day. So we used to restrict calories the whole day yeah. in these, what we call calorie restriction. Mm -hmm. And that was the paradigm for about okay. 70 years actually. Okay. And then just in the last 10 years we've realized, hey, you don't need to always be hungry. Okay. You can actually eat a decent meal or two, okay. but don't eat three meals a day. Don't always snack okay. because being hungry is what turns on these protective enzymes. Mm. And so I've now shifted my life to uh, eating small meals. I've, I now, what I do is I skip breakfast as best I can, Yeah. eat a very late lunch or even forget to eat lunch, and then eat a normal dinner. 